30% of women, and I want to point out, as Michelle did, doctors across these states who go into an examining room, and what do they think about? They know what the medically necessary care is. They know, and they want to be able to support their patients. Winston Salem's North Ward and on Woo! the Woo! And I am also the mayor pro tem. Woo! Yeah! And that means I run some stuff. I'm here today because reproductive freedom is on the ballot in North Carolina this November. Many of us remember the day when Roe v. Wade fell millions of women across the country, including here in North Carolina lost the fundamental right to make decisions about our own bodies and our future. I remember the dangers of getting care before Roe v. Wade. I remember being a young black first time generation college student in Baltimore in 1972, not being able to access birth control. I remember my mom and daddy sending me off to college saying, you need to remember you're the first. You got two other sisters, don't let us down. That's a lot, I'd never been away from home. So if it had not been for the Planned Parenthood office on North Avenue, <laughs> is our very own Vice President Kamala Harris. Woo! Woo! She is the only person, the only person, we can trust, and all Americans can trust, to do so in the White House. Yes. Yes. We got 95 days, people. Tell it. Yeah. 95 Tell it. days. Tell it. 95 Tell it. days until we can turn the page on this ugliness and open a new chapter in America. A chapter of until we usher Donald Trump off the national stage. Yeah. 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 Ninety-five days until we can call Kamala Harris the next president.